further city connect uniforms the yellow shirts with the blue caps powder blue caps powder blue trim and white pants and rich hill gets the ball tonight for the red sox who are seven and two this year wearing the city connects and 13 and four since they first broke them out in 2021 Big swing and a miss, and he strikes him out with a fastball. First down of the ball game. Category four hurricane. Cut on and missed with a cutter to put him away. How about that? Just a little cutter. Yeah, Dean Kramer, boy, he's been on a roll. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys, keeps the ball in the ballpark, as we saw with Kyle Bradish coming off arguably one of his best games. I mean, Dean's is a complete game. Raphael check in at 293. He's hit 27 home runs, 87 driven in. There it is. He tags it. That one shot toward the triangle. Nobody out there. It. Oh, it did. It took a bounce. He's got himself two bases. That'll be a double. He ripped it. Yeah, he's got that RPM right down pat, doesn't he? <laughs> he was on that one. That was yeah. that hook was in his happy zone. So the Red Sox have two men on with one out. Verdugo to climb in at 282 with 10 home runs. And pitches. And it's hit hard up the middle of the base hit past the backhand attempt of the second baseman, Barbara. Around to score Devers. The throw comes into second base. Bogarts to third. It's an RBI single for Alex Verdugo, and the Red Sox lead one to nothing. And an eight game hitting streak for Alex. That's a leadoff walk for Casas, and already the second walk for Dean Kramer. Big lead for Casas. He is dead meat at first. Where was he going? Well, he was leaning. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think you know it's funny it, it, we always talk about when a runner at first sometimes you'll go on the first move of a lefty <laughs> he went on the first move of righty but he didn't his move was the first base that's the first pickoff of Dean Kramer's career John McDonough here's the first pitch and it swung on lined into left field for a base hit by Terran Varvra it gets by the left fielder goes to the wall here's the throw to second base a chance to get him and he slides up short of the bag and is tagged out by Xander Bogarts Terran Varvra Thrown out by Tommy Pham, who has his major league leading 14th assist. The ball got by him, but he recovered and threw a strike to second base. He went to backhand it. It ticked off the fingers of his glove and rolled about five feet behind him. And Harvard took over. He slid short of the bag. Very ugly slide. Never did reach it. And Bogarts had the tag waiting for him. So we go to the bottom half of inning number three. Almonte to lead things off. Is 2-1. Oh. High fly ball. Deep right field. Did you? Hayes back. It's into the corner. It is gone. At the moment that Big Poppy walks in the booth. <laughs> How about him showing off his power? Yeah. He got a pitch fastball to hit and he lost it. Sure his did. ball was in the air for a long time. Good for him. I saw him in the batting case. He said, we're going to hit one for me today. He did. <laughs> there Check he goes. Woo! This was literally Poppy walking down the stairs into the booth he say, over here. He say. <laughs> he walks in and somebody goes bridge. That's what happens. That's what happens with David. He right. say. <laughs> so I'll bring up Robinson Chirinos with Ryan McKenna on deck. And he got him. Struck him out. That came in at 70 miles an hour. Came around the corner, didn't it? Took a little right turn. Started off the plate. Off speed. Got him out front. Was not a strike. Uh, didn't come back as far as he thought it was going to. Kind of stayed out there. Anthony Santander on deck. The runner goes. The pitch is a fastball for strike three. Inside corner at the knees. And Rich Hill, his fan, seven. Santander with two home runs in consecutive games. Fifth visiting player in Fenway Park history to do that. See you. In there, strike three. Look at your pair of shoes. One out. It's backwards too. You have that the pitch before that he went up and in with the cheese right 89 up and in and then snapped that off back door. That's yeah. filthy. That pitch has been so good for Rich. Oh two. Swing and a miss to strike him out with that curveball. He gets him one two three and that is six shutout five hit innings for Rich Hill. Nine punch outs nicely done. Here's Alex Verdugo in the bottom of the six another payoff pitch. Swing on a line drive, rip down the right field line, deep toward the pesky pole, and gone! Into the first is second row of the right field seats. Home run for Verdugo, his 11th of the year, and the Red Sox now have a 3 0 lead. That was hit so hard it didn't have time to hook. 
Yeah, that was one of the shorter home runs you could hit in Major League Baseball. Not a lot past the pesky pole. So Verdugo with 11 homers now, 74 RBIs, including two tonight. Red Sox with a run up there and a home run by Verdugo. Now a double by Martinez in business again. Keegan Aiken just recalled from the minors today. And Casas will knock that one into right field. JD to third. The breaks on him as the throw comes in by Hayes. And a base hit for Casas just continues to get on base time after time. He strikes out Hernandez and a good changeup, and Keegan Aiken picks up a big first out. First and third, one out, one in, three nothing Boston, bottom six, and now the Orioles infield backs up up the middle, hoping for two. And McGuire lays down a bunt, pushed to Aguilar at first. He'll go to second base and get a force out there. I mean, I just figure this is a, you know, not a suicide squeeze, but a safety squeeze, but the runner's not coming. They don't slide a second. Tristan Casas one in standing for yeah, some reason. I just don't understand that. <laughs> two on, two out. A ground ball hit slowly. Grabbed at third by Nevin. He got it out of his glove just in time. And Aiken escapes the jam. Well, we have reached the eighth inning at Fenway Park. Baltimore still down by three. But the good news is they have six outs to go. And they'll have to do it against a struggling Boston bullpen this season. So let's see. That's a fly ball to center from Robinson Chirinos. The new center fielder Hernandez will watch it go. Robinson Chirinos with an ambush of Caleb Ward. First pitch homer to put the Orioles on the board. Second straight night in the ninth inning. Henderson walks against Barnes. This time he does so after being down 0 and 2 in the count. And Adley Rutschman will bat representing the tying run. Did he go? Yes, yes he, did. he did. He struck him out, and that is the ball game. The Red Sox win it by a final score of three to one on the strikeout. Rutschman fans and the Sox hang on for the W. It's a complete ball game by the boys right there. Hitting, got their big knocks, played good defense. Rich Hill pitched well. Bullpen came in, did their job. Pat and Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.